while walking down the street, this young man finds himself struck. A logo, typeface, and color scheme all combine to evoke in him one thing, desire. Before he knows it, he is enveloped in the warm and subtly scented cocoon of retail. Welcome. In pursuit of a coffee product concocted by food scientists to satisfy his evolved desires for fat, sugar, and psychotropic stimulants. Five dollars, please. He pays. As the young man drinks his coffee, his blood sugar levels spike, and caffeine crosses the blood-brain barrier, stimulating his central nervous system and blocking his ability to feel drowsiness. Ecstasy. The young woman decides to send her $5 somewhere else, all the way to Seoul, Korea, to the International Vaccine Institute. With her $5, IVI conducts research to discover vaccines which combat typhoid, dengue, cholera, and other diseases which strike the poor in developing countries. When a candidate graduates from the laboratory, it is exhaustively tested for efficacy, scalability, and safety if and when the vaccine meets international regulations and licensure standards. It is submitted to the World Health Organization for pre-qualification. Finally, IVI and its partners conduct research in the places where vaccines would do the greatest good, generating scientific evidence and demonstrating to those in positions of power the real value of an investment in public health. All of this thanks to IVI's donors, one of whom has earned, with today's online donation, a healthy flood of oxytocin, a naturally occurring hormone which makes her feel loved and loving for days to come. But her counterpart now suffers the double withdrawal symptoms of sugar and caffeine and is unable to return the sentiment.